you lot maybe want to say hi to each other first? I can't hear him. Uh, you might have to, uh, yeah, uh, uh, hello. I think both of you, um, turn off your voice boxes and turn them up again. No, you don't need to go out. You can just turn your voice box off and turn it on again. You hear me? Yeah. Hey. Hi. Let me just, you know, start off by saying like, obviously I've spoken to the both of you. Um, I think I've gotten somewhat of an understanding of both of you lot's perspective. We're not here to solve any issues we're not here to you know decide anything um i just want to sit down with the both of you because like at the end of the day regardless of what you two have been through i know you care for each other so it would be a waste to see you know something end in this way where you don't even communicate with each other um regardless if you lot feel like you want to be together or not um I think that both of you have invested a lot of feelings, um, a lot of emotions, a lot of time into each other. And I think that, you know, you definitely need to get that, get that out, put everything on the table, even if you agree with each other or disagree with each other, you know, and be able to walk out of here knowing that, okay, even if I don't agree, if I do agree, at least I understand what, you know, the other person is coming from and there's no, there's no bad vibes going on. Um, Layla has has um, expressed that you know this isn't something that's very like comfortable for her. Um, so maybe Hollow, if you wanna start by like you know explaining what you were explaining to me, I very much wanted to be like Hollow. You speak. You get to say your piece. I get to ask you some questions about it. And the same for you as well, if you feel comfortable, Leila, just so you lot can get a better understanding of each other. Um, I'm not going to take no one's side. I'm not going to take any parts. I'm just here to be objective and help the both of you in it. Um, right. So, Holo, do you want to do you want to go ahead and, and repeat what you said earlier? Um. Well, I say like first thing is. Uh. Layla, my feelings for you has not changed since the day we met, regardless to you know, everything. And they still haven't. So I would just say that like first. Um Okay, I'm trying to think where do I even begin with all of this? Because it's it's been a roller coaster for sure. So let me um, ask you, where do you think you lot are miscommunicating? What's 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 not being conveyed in the right way? What do you feel like is missing right now? What answers are you looking for from Layla um, to be able to feel like, you know, you have a good understanding of what's going on and, you know, you can explain it in your own words, of course. Um, I say as far as miscommunication, I'll talk about like me first. Where I lacked was expressing my feelings or reservations for like, you know, her friends or people within her circle. Um, Cause you know, I, I would have a feeling that somebody would be, would have an ulterior motive that they um, have feelings for her. And I didn't express that. And um, I guess, you know, it let things fester and um, turn into a big thing. So, as far as me just letting things be known where like where i'm at where my my head is at so she can move accordingly uh and the biggest thing that i guess i'm just hoping to hear um right now i just i just want an answer as far as like 
I'm just hoping to know if she still feels the same way. And so what makes you question that? I'm not questioning it. I, I, I truly believe that she does still love me, but mm -hmm. I just don't know if um, she has that will to fight for that love. That's where I, I don't know. It's not that I'm trying to question her. I it's just, I just, I don't know. Yeah, that's how you feel. That's that's perfectly fine. Uh, what makes you something has to have, you know, uh, went down for you to go from a standpoint of feeling like you know that she wants to fight for it to now not knowing. Um, what 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 what's what's happened for you to now feel like you're not sure? Uh well, a um. A common acquaintance of both of ours um befriended both of us but spent a lot of time with her they um even during while i was gone uh when i went to tokyo because of the uh her potentially losing her memory and mm -hmm. it was just hard for me to see that mm -hmm. because i care for her so much um And uh, they got close. They're, um, you know, they're good friends. And I just had a feeling that he liked her, like in a romantic way. But I didn't express that because I didn't want her to feel like I didn't trust her. Uh, so I was just like, you know, I'm just going to let her, you know, just handle it the way she feels like it, could, it should be handled. Mm. And express that trust. Mm. And... Um, when he conveyed his feelings for her, she let me know. We had a conversation. And then I asked her, you know, what, how do you feel? What are you going to do? Um, at the time, she said that she didn't know. How did it make you feel when she said that she didn't know? I, I, felt, I felt a little hurt. Um, because I haven't, I mean, you know, I had no hesitation that, I wanted to be with her. Um, so when it seemed like there was hesitation, it, uh, yeah, it hurt me. And it kind of made me put a wall up. No way. Because, you know, I like when I, when I, uh, when I give my heart to somebody, I give it to them. So like, um, so yeah, it's dumb for sure. Did you ever take the moment to express that to her? I'm trying to remember if I did. I, f I felt like I did. I can't say for sure. That's okay. Um, And what you're meaning is after that incident or that conversation where, you know, uh, you felt hurt in a way because it seemed like she wasn't sure what she wanted to do is the reason for why you now are looking for an answer to understand if you know she is willing to fight for this or if she's not um yeah and like a like you know there's more things that happened after that incident such as um well we had a a, a disagreement on the beach which was because of uh like she called me and she was like saying that she was doing something. I was like, oh, what you doing? She was like, I can't tell you. And it just kind of took me back to when she was going to lose her memory when she couldn't tell me. Uh, mm, okay. So I'm just like, at that point, um, I guess my mind just went to, does she just not trust me? Or like, is it just, I don't, I don't know. It just took me back to that point. And then she's like, um, I can't tell you, but you're just going to have to trust me. I was like, um, she's like, do you trust me? And at that point, after the whole, what seemed like hesitance from uh, mm -hmm. when I asked her about the guy and the feelings and how she felt. Uh, at that point and time. In my mind, I was just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, things just feel so confusing. And I just feel so out the loop. 
Um, and then I was like, you know, and, and then my expression, I was in hindsight, I was wrong at the time. I was just on the phone with her and I was like, do you just like, like dragging me along? You just like hurting me. Mm-hmm. And then the conversation, she hung up. Later on, we had the con- we had a conversation at the beach. She expressed that she was planning a romantic gesture for me. I apologized for how I uh, handled that phone call. And then she said that she needed space and like just distancing herself from me. And then that was when I had the heart attack, and that was when I came up here with her. Mm. Mm. So, so, yeah, go ahead. So much has happened. Um, and then it's like, you know, I just want to know if she's, if she, like, obviously, I feel like I showed that I still care for her a lot. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. And then I'm more than happy to hear her side of, like, mm-hmm where I messed up Mm -hmm. and her, you know, I don't know if grievances is the right word, but like her grievances with me. Um, But throughout it all, I feel like, you know, even my body showed that like, I care for her a lot. And yeah. Yeah. I think both of you do. Um, Just so I, just so I understand properly. Um, the reason why you felt you couldn't trust her was due to the fact of you feeling like she was unsure if she wanted to do this with you. And also the fact that last time she asked you to trust her, she was going to lose her memory. So I'm, I'm assuming that in that situation, you thought of worst case scenario and charged it to her not trusting you, which made you ask her if she likes dragging you along. Uh, pretty much okay um i appreciate you you know explaining your perspective and all of that um i do want to ask more questions but before i do that Layla, do you feel comfortable enough to explain your perspective and your side of everything Are you more comfortable if I ask you questions instead? Okay, give me like 10 seconds. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. Um, my perspective. Okay, so, like I told you on the phone earlier, um, uh, we did this with Desi uh, yesterday, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And he didn't convey these these feelings before. Um, This is the first time I've heard a lot of this, me personally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm kind of like, just in shock a little bit. Um, That's okay. Uh... And, and, you know, we're going to get to what what he said today, but how do you feel? How has this journey been for you outside of hearing what he said right now? What's your perspective been on it? Okay, so, like I told you before, um, you know, he, I did get close to Quay. Um, I met Quay through uh, Think Reina, but then we started working at Stars together and got really close, you know? Um, he just, he became my plug, he became my rock, and I don't know, he just listens, you know? Um, he did go to the Bora Bora for a week, and that was the same time, uh, Hollow, uh, decided to go to Tokyo, and it was also around the time when I lost my baby, mm-hmm. and then I also, <laughs> I also has issues with my game, so I was just going through a whole bunch of emotions at the time, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, 
And they both actually came back at the same time, uh, the same day, which is crazy. Um, so we met up and um, he said he wanted to talk to me, so I, I did. I did go off and I listened to what he had to say. That whole time, uh, Haru was texting me saying, I think I have a weird feeling and I think he likes you. La la la. Turns out he did. Um, I just, the issue was the fact that, like, I've only seen him as a friend, you know? So it's just like, I wouldn't even know what it would be like in a relationship. So it just kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, I don't know. It's like having, I don't know. It's just like when you cross the line, it's kind of like a different, it's a different thing, you know? So mm -hmm. to me, it was just, it just kind of went over my head. I'm like, what? So I was just like shocked a little bit. Um, but uh, I linked up with Hollow and we talked about everything. But he didn't, I could feel he didn't want to be, he told me he was going to be copacetic and we was going to play paintball together. And he was gonna be cordial, but like, I just feel like him feeling this way is kind of crazy because even after everything's said and done, um, I, you know, allow niggas to like continue working with someone that broke us, you know. And I just trust him. If granted, he did say he would leave the job um, mm -hmm. if it was gonna be an issue. I said no, I trust you, and I left it at that. So it's just kind of, kind of crazy. Um, the only, uh, at the beach, the beach is crazy because I definitely get the hesitance, but that shit threw me. Like, if you could put yourself in my position and you just be like, you, I'm, I'm at a dead, like I'm at a dead end. Like walls are closing in, you know. So you're just like, okay, what do I do? Um, I already told Quay, like, I want to be single, right? I already told him that. <laughs> I already told him. I just I just want to be alone. But then I'm just like, damn. Uh, I go to the beach. I'm sitting there in my thoughts and shit. And I'm mm -hmm. like, man. I fucking, fucking got feelings for this man still, though, you know? So I call Unk. And I'm Sorry, like, can you repeat that? You still got feelings for... Uh, I still have feelings for Hollywood. Oh, yeah, just speak mm -hmm. a little louder. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm shouting now. Is that too loud? No, no, that's good. Okay. That's perfect. Um, yeah, so I call Unk and I'm just like, bro, I don't know what to do. Like, like I feel like we're teetering and once we, you know, do this jump, like it's gonna be over, you know? So I'm I'm gonna do this one last jump and like you know, uh see if this see if it's worth fighting for, you know. I need you to tell me if he trusts me and he wants to be together. If he has hesitance or he says no, then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna I'm eventually move on, you know? I just need to know. And the only person that, you know, he's gonna be honest with Unk because they're like close, you know? So, um, I tell him to, you know, send him a letter, tell him to come in. And um, I'm calling, I'm calling Unk and I'm like, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? But he's not answering, you know? I'm calling him like a lot and he's not answering. I don't have my answer, so I'm just freaking out. And I'm like, bro, I can't, I can't give you answers right now, right? I can't talk to you right now because I don't have the thing I need to do the thing, right? So I'm just, I'm just panicking, I'm freaking out and I'm just like, That's oh. why you couldn't tell me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let her finish, let her finish. Yeah, so I'm just like, ah, oh, I just need you to trust me because like, it's kind of big because it could be like, over or not but this is kind of i just need you to wait i just need you to wait because unk's not in i thought he'd be in by now and he doesn't know that but like i was just going to my head i'm just like what do i do what do i do and me he's asking me all these questions i'm like fuck what do i do right so i'm just i'm panicking i'm panicking i'm just like oh shit and then he gets upset and gets frustrated and he's just like he just starts yelling at me. He's yelling, and I'm just like, oh, shit. And then he brings up Quay. It had nothing to do with Quay, because I, I literally already told him I just wanted to be single. I didn't want to be with Quay. And then he's 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 yelling more, and I'm just, he's like, do I get a joke? Like, do I, am I enjoying this? Am I, do I enjoy hurting him? I'm like, I can't believe he's saying this to me. And I'm just like, like, literally, it's, when I'm, when I'm telling you this, this has been like, this has been like five hours between. So I'm like, I went from, I went from, Okay, I'm gonna fight for this guy to 
this guy is yelling at me and I don't know what to do. So, um, yeah, it, w it was a lot. And I just, I just couldn't take it. So mm -hmm. I, I hung up and I'm just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. I'm just, I just can't. And then, um, we get back on the phone. Um, and I, you know, I calm down, but I get angry. Right. I went from sad to angry. You know, I'm just like, fuck, no way you talk to me like that. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, I just can't do this. This is, he's already telling me he don't trust me. He told me, like, do you trust me? He said, I don't know. And I'm just like, bro, I literally, you don't know things, but like, where, like, I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done anything. And he's just like, give me an answer. Give me an answer. I'm telling you, I'm not happy. I'm telling him like, I need space. And he's just like, what is it? And he's, I just like, it's saying, I don't, I don't want chocolate milk. And he just keeps giving me chocolate milk. Like, I'm telling you something and you're not listening. I'm not happy, but you're just worried about this one answer. Like you're not listening. You're not com like analyzing what I'm telling you. And I'm, I've, I, me personally, me personally, I've, I've lived without Hollow when he was in Tokyo, right? I know what that life is like and it's terrible, right? But I'm not happy with this man. I'm not happy without this man. I'm just like a dud, you know? So I'm just like, I'm burnt out and I'm just like, I need space and I'm not avoiding nothing I'm not trying to run away what I'm trying to do is get my thoughts together because when I'm telling you I don't know something I don't know something I'm upset I'm sad I'm in love I'm hurt like all these emotions and I'll have words to tell you what I'm feeling I don't have the words yet I'm just speechless I have I'm, I'm just, yeah mm -hmm. and when we was here right and after he got um when he after he got out the hospital and shit you know you, you know, like I told you, um, he was like, you need to get away from all this stress. You need to, like, right. You, like, I'm the one stressing him out. I'm the reason he, like, passed out. I fucked his life up, right? And I'm just like, okay, you're right. So I call Liv, and I'm like, please get here. I can't, I can't be around this man. Some, I'm going to end up killing him. He's, he needs to be away from me, but he wants to be around me. What do I do? So I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. And she finally gets here, and I, I, get, I see a way out, and I leave. But niggas is not trying to hear that and they keep asking me these same questions but i'm just like bro it's he's not focusing he's not listening and people keep saying i'm not communicating and i feel like i'm i'm telling you everything i know i'm just i'm just hurt like mm. both both ends of the stick are just burning i'm getting i'm just it's just burning from both ends it's just not good and okay. i just yeah i don't like these okay. ac accusations that's one mm. thing. Uh, I feel like he's not listening to me. I feel like I just need I need someone to save me. That's that's pr pretty much it. So appreciate you, you know, opening up and sharing everything, uh, both of you. Um, I just want to start off by saying, like, just a response, you know. Um, the only person that can save you is you. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, I do, I do, I do think that it's good that you both have self-awareness regarding how you feel. I think where the miscommunication is happening is, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they are hurt, it seems like both of you have hurt each other in some capacity. Um, it's kind of hard to communicate through that, you know, there's a saying, hurt people, hurt people, isn't it? Um, what I'm hearing from you, Leila, is that you feel like you don't have the answers to if you want to be with this man or work it out with this man or not. You're saying that you're miserable without him, but you're not happy with him. So I would like to ask you, um, why are you not happy with him? It's the fact that like when I'm I just feel like when I'm telling him something, he's thinking he's not be believing what I'm saying. He's just thinking like he just gonna keep saying asking something and i'm i don't he's not trusting what i'm saying if i tell you i need space i need space if i tell you i'm unhappy i'm unhappy like there's no mm. oh she's, she's gonna she's gonna like be with quay or ooh, she's gonna be doing some devious shit no mm. i just i'm gonna be at the beach milk texting just thinking literally i don't mean okay that. so if i can ask you um when that situation happened with quay because it seems like that was kind of maybe not the route, but that escalated this situation that's going on with you two. 
Um, what made you hesitate? Was it the fact that you were shocked about the information that Quay was giving you? Or was it what you just said right now that you feel like when you do communicate, either he doesn't believe you or he's not hearing what you're saying the way you're trying to get it across? It's all of it. He just, he says he trusts me. This, he doesn't. He doesn't trust anything I'm saying. He thinks I'm a liar. He thinks I'm a to. He thinks I have an artillery motive. And mm. I literally, I, I literally tell him everything I'm doing at every point in time. And mm. I never, <laughs> what? I, I don't know. Crazy. okay um after hearing what he said today because you did say it's the first time you're hearing this um with everything that he explained um you know do you feel like you understand his perspective do you understand why he feels hurt do you understand why he feels like he doesn't trust you um do you understand why he feels like he's you're not sure if you want to be with him or not or do you think like he's not his perspective is not nothing you really can see see the issue if we would have talked about this if he would have said this work yesterday this would have been a lot easier um it's just the fact that like yeah he's never conveyed these feelings before he's never told me yeah i should have if he would have been honest and told me his his thoughts and his feelings earlier then all i feel like we could have talked it out and we would have avoided a lot of um, of course these situations mm -hmm. but um i don't know but as of right now do you understand his perspective uh i do i do okay okay that's good uh holo yeah do you understand her perspective do you understand where she's coming from when she's saying that she's being as honest as she can be and she just genuinely does not have the answers right now because she doesn't know for herself even and that why the reason why she's saying she needs space has nothing to do with quay or anyone else um more so that she needs to figure out what she wants for herself yeah no it makes sense i understand her her, her point of view okay so that's really good to start it off you know you lot have i think gotten a lot further than it seems before you've had opportunity to both explain your perspectives and also understand each other's perspectives what i'm understanding from this whole situation right now is that what you're looking for holo is reassurance and you want to know if it's worth you spending your time trying to work this out with her because you don't want to fight a losing battle right yeah understood so your feelings are very much still there for Layla, as you said when we first started off and if we don't look at her actions or her intentions what your heart truly wants to do is to pursue finding a solution between you and Layla. yeah 100 percent. okay and what i'm understanding from you Layla, is that even though hollow is saying all of these things as he still you know loves you he still wants to sort things out he still wants to be with you um he still cares for you you feel all of those things at the same time as well the only thing is that you need time and space for yourself to actually figure out if this is something that you want to continue doing yeah. is that correct yeah. okay so i know i started off by saying that we're not going to come here to look for like any solutions or something like that. It's more of us just sitting there having a conversation, really. Um, I think number one, you lot need full transparency. I think that it's good that whatever happened, happened because Hollow, you now can realize that um, maybe you should be more transparent about how you're feeling, regardless of what your feelings can be perceived as just to have that open line of communication. Um, and I think that when it comes to you, Leila, Olo very much wants to just have an understanding of where he's put in his heart. Um, he doesn't want to feel like he's, you know, giving you his heart for you to then disappear sometime. 
because that might break him again. Um, I think that you lot need to understand and respect where one another are. Polo is very much ready to go right now. You are not, Layla. So I think that where the conversation needs to go now that both of you lot have an understanding of each other's perspective, you understand where you're coming from, you understand what uh, both of you lot are feeling. You can't change the fact that you need time for yourself, Layla, to actually figure out what you want for you. Um, you can't be there for Hollow if you're not there for yourself first. That's why you can't give him an answer. Right. And Hollow, you can't be there for her without knowing that you have the security you need to put your heart in her hands, which is something she can't give to you right now. So what it seems like is that both of you are on different places in this relationship. And I think that what both of you need to do is really just have a very open and honest conversation in the sense of hollow. Are you ready to sit here and wait for Layla to take her time that she needs to figure out what she wants for herself and work on herself? Because her being with you now is pointless because she's not even there for herself yet. And also, in the same capacity, Layla, are you okay with the fact that he might have to put up some type of protection around him due to the fact that he feels scared um you know and and feels a lack of trust with giving you his heart and if you do and decide that you want to continue with this that's something that you have to build up again that's the conversation you lot need to have mm -hmm. because from hollow's perspective it's going to be that he's waiting for you but with waiting for you that also means he's going to build up more walls as he said before because there is a lack of trust from both ends and from your perspective you're not going to want to sit here and work on yourself to come to the conclusion that you want to be with him and then he's now nowhere to be found. So it's a very it's a very tricky situation that both of you are in and you're not going to be able to get out of this situation or through this situation alone or with each other if there's no communication. So what I would say for both of you is that you need to both take time for yourself. Although you need to actually do some soul searching and understand if you want to continue this or not with the situation that Layla's in. I know you're looking for an answer. You want to hear either yes or no, if she's willing to work on this. But what I need you to do is not work off of how Layla is moving. What does your heart tell you? What are your intentions? What do you want to do? If everything in your body tells you that you want to be with Layla, and Layla is saying that for that to be able to happen, I need to take some time. Then you have to be okay with that somehow. If you're not okay with that, then there's no way forward in, in you lot being in a relationship together, innit? And Layla, you need to take time for yourself to realize that, yes, you need to figure out what's going on, what you want to do, but with that, if you decide to not have this communication and just be by yourself, very much also runs the risk of losing a person that you love so dearly, innit? There is no right answer to this. The only way you can work through this is by having communication with each other. If it's checking in from time to time, if it's going on a phone call and seeing how you lot are moving, feeling today, if it's you lot going for dinner, in a week just to see like, okay, this is how I feel like right now. This is where I am in my progress of being where I want to be in my life in it. You lot need to remember that both of you started off as friends. Yes, you were flirting with each other. Yes, you were interested in each other, but you started off as friends. I watched you two. The reason why both of you actually fell for each other was because of the fact that you could have, have so much open communication with each other. You could talk to him about everything and he could talk to you about everything. There was no walls built up between the both of you. You built up a trust between each other. 
it seems that that trust and that open communication has been broken down. So you lot need to get back to that essence of being able to trust each other and have communication with each other outside of are we going to be in a relationship or not? Not only for the fact of trying to get back together, if that's what you want to do at the end of the day, but just so you can get back to being the friends that you were at first. Yeah, that's... Um, does that, that make sense. sense to you? It does make sense. It does. And there's not an answer that needs to be given now, but I think that... No, you're good. What? I think that... No, she said my fault. Oh. I think that you lot need to both take time, at least today, to your and really just go through this if it's making a pros and cons list if it however you, you you get to understand what you want and then see where you can meet each other whether it's a friendship whether it's uh trying to build everything up again whatever it might be your question mark Layla, is that you don't have no answers right now to what you want to do to reach the happiness that you once had and all of your question mark is if you want to pursue this and try to wait for her and be there for her while she's doing this and trying to figure out what she wants with running the risk of losing her and exposing your heart until both of you have individually have those answers you can't really move forward in it <clears throat> that's true and I'm not saying that this is something that goes over in a day or two, maybe even a week. What I am saying is that there's nothing wrong with the two of you still communicating with each other about everything else that you used to talk about before it was just, are we doing this or not? You can still talk about everything with each other. That's outside of any type of relationship just to know that you're both still there. You lot care for each other at the end of the day. If anything happens to Layla, or if Layla's in any agony, you want to be there for her. If he's going through something, Layla, just like when he had his heart attack, you want to be there for him. Just because you might not be in a relationship doesn't mean you don't have to be there, that part for each other, innit? That's true. So I would recommend both of you to still communicate with each other, still check up. How you doing? Oh, what'd you eat today? Oh, what's the vibe? Oh, what's your plan for the weekend? Oh, that sounds nice. Just regular communication while you both take the space that you need to get answers for those question marks. Once you have answers for those question marks, that's when you need to have that conversation. And you might have your answer quicker than her or she might have her answer quicker than you in it. And that's fine. When you are at your top, when you are at the greatest moment of the relationship, you are a team. You're on the same side. Now you're sitting on different sides, going back and forth. Get back on the same side. Holo, you're trying to f help your friend figure out some stuff, and Layla, you're trying to help your friend figure out some stuff. And you can do that from distance. And once you feel like you have an answer to your question marks, just be honest about it. Talk about it. Does that make sense to the both of you? It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it makes, it makes sense. Do you not have anything that you want to add in from your own perspectives or questions that you feel like you want to ask each other? Outside of are we doing this or not? I kind of, I do. Go ahead. thinking about is like after everything said and done I'm not the same girl that I was before you know and um, I just don't know if like if we were to rekindle things like would it be better communication would it be better in general um, it's kind of just like a thing I'm thinking about or it's gonna be the same same thing Mm -hmm. and that's a very natural question to have um, 
once again, I think that that's a decision you two need to make once you decide if you want to do this or not. If you lot say that, you know what, yes, let's do this, let's, let's try to fix everything. Okay, so what needs fixing? Okay, our communication. Okay, our transparency. Okay, our trust levels. How can we put in actionable steps to actually reach what our goal is? How do we want to communicate with each other? Okay, as a man, I communicate this way. As a woman, I communicate that way. Okay, where can we find the middle ground? Okay, this is our middle ground. Okay, what are we going to do to work towards that? How are we going to make sure that, you know, step by step every day we get to where we want to be? But that's a question that's going to be answered later. Like I said, to Holo, also having a very reasonable question with saying, are we doing this or not? You lot need to figure out what you want to do for yourself. Both of you might figure out that you want to do try this and it still doesn't work or it might work perfectly. Regardless of that, you lot need to figure out what you want for yourself, not based on what the other person wants to do. You get me? Yeah. yeah. And those questions are going to arise, of course, but they're not, they're not going to be answered or guaranteed until later. And that's when you guys decide that you want to be on the same team, actually put in the work, you get me? Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I had a question. Oh. Absolutely, go ahead. Um, Um, Layla, did you really not like my outfit? Such a dork. Such a dork. <laughs> well, a lot of time into this. I thought, you know, the pinks was nice. Oh, you look good. You look good. Okay. Uh, that's all I had. You said what? Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. think that um, both of you lot seemed a little bit nervous of having this conversation at first. Um, I think that the conversation went really well. I think that both of you lot listened to each other. You heard each other's perspective. Uh, you understood each other's perspective as well. Uh, you know, I know you both of you are going to take each other's feelings into consideration of what's been going on. And you both understand that you need to figure out what you want to do for yourself before we can even answer the question are we doing this or not um so with that said you know i just want to you know say thank you to both of you guys for having a civil convo because you know it could have went left but you decided to respect each other in this instance so i think that's really good um take your time handle your business to, per usual um just you know Spend some time with yourself today as well, not just hanging around people as a distraction and just be with your thoughts and, and try to, you know, figure out what your heart and your mind wants in it. Yeah. And just stay in communication with each other. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Layla, um, what I told you on the crane, it, it's still, it's still valid. Like, even if it's not with me, I do want you to be happy. Um, as painful as that is for me to say, it is true. So, I, um, you can tell me. Like, this conversation is, is giving me a, a calmer mind. So... Don't be uh don't don't be afraid to tell me or call me. Um, cause I'll I'll hear you out. And you know, like you said, we were friends before. So I'll uh, you know, still be there for you. Thank you. Same here. Huh? Same here. Sorry. That's wonderful. 
with that said, I think we um, close off this convo. And I think that you lot handle yours. Take some time for yourselves. And, you know, if you need my help at any time, you can always call me or text me. And that goes for both of you. If you want to talk by yourselves, that's also amazing. But, you know, at the end of the day, the goal is to make sure that you get back to being friends first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll uh, walk you to your car. That's okay. You have the car wipe. I have no car. Oh, um, I can help you get another one. Um, appreciate both of you. You lot have a nice day. Of course, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Of always. course, of course. You're more than welcome anytime. And yeah, I'm gonna catch both of you. Okay, yeah, man. I'm gonna hit you. All right, take care, man. Safety to both of you. Of course, of course. Um, Let me get you a car. <sighs> that shit was heavy. I know. It was very nice. It was what? It was very nice. Yeah. Um. What are we going to do? Yeah, 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 nigga. Get the fuck on. What we doing? Nah, he good. He good. He good. He good. He good. Get the fuck Jesus on, nigga. Asshole. Oh, that's what we doing? You. Uh, uh, uh. Nah, not you bitch slapping him. I bitch slapped that nigga to the You bitch slapped the fuck out of I've never nigga. done that before. That was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay. Um, at least get a hug, though. Like, oh, my fault. My fault. The, yeah. <laughs> Um, I feel like I understand you a lot more now after that really? conversation. Yeah, I um, and yeah, my feelings for you hasn't changed, but I know that you need space and you need time and whatnot. So I'll um, like you like to say, I'll I'll be around. Of course. Call me, call me anytime. 